Okay, now you guys are like, I've never heard of these people and Scherzer sucks and you suck and your channel sucks and my New Year's resolution is to never watch your channel again. All right, I'll, I'll give you the big boys. Scherzer Anand. This was played in Philadelphia at the World Open in 87. If I was a betting man, I'm not saying I am a betting man, I would say Vishy Anand was sleeping on our floor in the hotel room with seven other people. It was either 86 or 87. Yeah, Anand knows. He remembers these things. Okay, Scherzer's white. And they played a Rui Lopez. And Alex played his, you know, some poison he has. He played the exchange variation. This position occurred in a game from Montreal 1979 between Portish and Tall. And Tall won with black and like 18 moves. Yay, thank you, Finn Beingold. Somebody can find that game and paste it. Go, Finn Beingold. Okay, so Rook D3, stopping the double of the pawns. Yeah, Anand wasn't a good endgame player when he was younger. So this was good two bishops against two knights. What else? Yeah, the problem is if you mess up white's pawns, my knight has really good f5 square. So he tried to keep his bishop on the board to stop that. Two bishops. But he liked the f5 square. The engine likes black here, by the way. And it takes. Okay, now in this position, what would Bobby Fisher do with black? Um, also, it's the engine move. Engine approved. I don't know. What's the biggest blunder Fisher ever made? It's famous. It's not really that bad of a move, but it's famous. I don't, I don't know. In game one against Boris Spask in their match, he played bishop takes h2 and trapped his bishop. Famous game. Uh, so that's what Anand did. Bam! By the way, the engine likes that move. It says good move. Okay, so b3 trapping the bishop, supposedly. And the engine still likes black here. The engine still likes black. So in this position, it doesn't like what Vichy did. It wants Vichy to play b5 here. And then keep pushing his pawns and get his bishop out and get a passed pawn. It says black's winning after b5. But he played king b8, always play king b8. Still, still likes his position. Then, it, then a4 is okay, getting his bishop out. Yeah, and this is still good, still good for black, it says. Okay, and then in this position, Vichy made a very bad move. See how his pawns attacked? Yeah. He should play h5. Put it in h. But he traded. Yay, yeah, thank and, you, Fembango. And now he's worse. And you, you guys have been on my streams before when I tell you, move your king up in the end game. Okay, well, in this position, white has a clear path to moving his king up and doing something. It's not clear what black can do. Even if I cheated and went here, like, so what? But if I cheat and take this pawn, then, you know, it's over. So that was a very bad trade for, for him. Then he checks the king up the board. One of these guys became world champion. I don't know which one. Very bad move, Rook F1 check. Anand wasn't known as a good endgame player. Now, excellent move by Scherzer. Really good move. A weaker player would play King G3 or King H3, otherwise you lose a pawn. And Scherzer's like, I don't care about that, I care about making a queen. That's an excellent move. And then he wins the H pawn. And then his, pass, his H pawn's passed. And that pawn's gonna, gonna promote eventually. Move it on up. Move it on up. Man, that pawn got good quick. A5 is an excellent move. Probably Vichy missed that. So white wants to do this. And then if black moves his rook around and stop it, then this. Then I got this pawn. So he has to take it. And then white's rook gets free. Free, I told you. And then he resigned after rook a7 check. 
if the king moves, I play king g7 and you lose all your pawns. Like if you go here, for example, mm -hmm. I go here and then you check, I guess, and I go here and then I got this guy and this guy and so forth. And the engine says plus 12. So after check, he resigned. So Anand had a better endgame against Scherzer, but lost because Anand in 1987 wasn't a great endgame player. Pretty bad as a kid. That was his big weakness. That's why he lost his match in 1991 to Karpov, the candidates match. I'm sure you all remember that. Jadub. King G8 seems pretty simpler. That's true. King G8, and then if check, then here. And then move it on up to the king side. So Scherzer won a worse endgame against the Nand. Fen Beingle, 10,000 bits. Yay. Thank you, Happy Fen holidays. Beingle. We got a 5,000 yesterday. That was spinning blue. This is spinning red. Yay. Thank you so much, Fen Beingle.